Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chaos Gym. It's Rahul again. Um, today we're going to go over a Laurentis Vileplume deck. The concept's been explored, it's been shown, but it's still a very strong deck that I'd like to cover going into Sun and Moon. It's one of the decks that's on my radar uh, to consider when thinking about Sun and Moon because Laurentis itself isn't the strongest card, but it enables a lot of these decks. Um, it's just a very good card. Uh, it's a very good deck. It's a good concept. It'll be shown more in practice as like games go on. I, I promise you, you'll probably see this deck played at the tournament uh, in Anaheim, in your local leagues, league cups, league challenges, whatever. This deck will show up. It's free wins if you can get the Vileplume out on turn one. I don't think any deck can argue with that logic. So we'll go through the deck. There's only two Shaman in the deck. A third would be very needed, I think, but... Um, I'd, I'd prefer having a more consistent ball engine over having the third Shaman, and I usually get Vileplume up no problems with only two. Uh, if you start finding difficulties with that, you could cut um, a, a, just one card wherever you feel necessary and make it a third Shaman. That's understandable. I've never found any difficulties myself, so I didn't really need to see the need for a Shaman, um, a third. There's the three, uh, four, three Laurentis line. So Laurentis, I've explained this in a previous video, but Flower Supply, 40 damage, attach two basic Grass Energy from your discard to any of your Pokemon the way you like. So you can attach it back to the act of Laurentis. You can attach it to your Vileplume, you can attach a Shaman, you can attach it to whatever. Solar Blade, so you're just hitting for 120 and you're healing. That's pretty much the general concept of the deck. But this one isn't as much to stay alive. This one is more to just win the game under Trainer Lock and just take it. Chlorocyte GX is your late game finisher. Um, and Laurentis is really your only attacker that you need. Uh, so a 4-3 line is sufficient. You've got a 3-3-3 line of Vileplume. It's got Irritating Pollen. You're item-locking your opponents. They can't play items from his or her hand. And it has Solar Beam if you need to attack for 70 for some reason. Let's see if Gloom has a decent attack. You can, you can drool if you want. <laughs> I mean, it's options. You have to utilize all your options when given a situation. Like, Fomantis has an attack synthesis. So if you're going second and you can't get the turn on Laurentis, you can literally just attach and synthesis to a bench to Fomantis. So that's always something to look out for. Um... For Acrobike, you're just going speed, you're trying to get that turn 1 Vileplume, turn 1 Laurentis set up, and you just kind of win the game. There's two level balls, because you can get Fomantis with those level balls, you can get the Oddish, you can get the Gloom. Um, so two is a pretty good number. If you decide to go for a third Shaman, what you could do is cut down two Timer Balls, go to a third um, level and a third Shaman. Uh, one Revitalizer, because sometimes you're discarding stuff early, you have an Ultra Ball, and you can just Revitalize on your first turn and just pretty much evolve into stuff. Um, so one's one's pretty sufficient number. Two Timer Balls. The Timer Balls are a gimmick I'm trying out. They're working, but when they don't work, it really is a dead card. Uh, it feels like Dual Ball from the olden days. Timer Ball is flip two coins uh, for each head to get an evolution Pokemon, put it in your hand. So if you don't like the Timer Balls through testing, I understand a lot of people don't like flippy cards. You go for a third Shaman and a third level ball. And that would probably make up the gap because if you go one for one on Timer Ball, you're getting like a Gloom anyway. You're getting like a Vile Bloom probably. Um, depends on what you... Yeah, like, it's just, yeah. Four mail, just consistency, dig for your balls. Because most of the time you just want to mail into an Ultra Bowl or mail into a forest and you can set up, or mail into a Sycamore and you're, you're absolutely golden. Uh, there's four forests because you absolutely need the four forests. So one Lysander, three N because sometimes you just don't really want to play the cards in your hand. Um, you could reduce this to two N and make it a second Lysander. Understandable. Um, I like 3N in almost every deck I play in this current format, just because there's this format's about conserving resources, and even if you go down like four prizes in the early game, it's about who has the resources to close out the game that um, matters in this format. There's one Olympia, just in case you can get a floatstone down on your Vileplume when you want to switch with Team Laurentis without actually manually retreating. A one Kukui, just to hit numbers, damage. Chlorocyte something big, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a good card that under item lock, you can just use a Kukui and you can just draw um, more cards. Um, there's three Sycamore, you don't really need four. Um, you'll never find a need for a fourth. I don't think you'll ever use four Sycamore in one game. Um, there's three Floatstone. Anything in this deck benefits from having a Floatstone on it. You can chain between Laurentuses, you can chain. You, you just want that ideally on the Vile Plume. Um, just being able to switch between Laurentuses with. Not that discarding energy, just solar blading over and over is pretty strong. And there's nine grass energy, so you're going to find those grass energies. You're going to put them in the discard. You're going to Laurentis pretty early. That's pretty much the gist of the deck. Um, 